Readilies of the Universe. I'm Rachel from Beauty the Bookshelf, and I'm here today with a very special guest, our new puppy, Benji. Benji, say hi without licking me. Um, he is a probably about 10 months old now, Shipu. So he's he's tiny, but he's hanging out with me today. So I thought I might have to say hi in case he's in the background making noises. But yeah, so as I said, I'm Rachel from Beauty the Bookshelf, and I'm here today with my book haul for, what month is it? September. Because now we're in October, the month of spooky, cool, you know, crazy stuff. I need to figure out still my Twitter spooky name and what I'm going to do for Halloween and what I'm going to do on the blog for Halloween. So like, I'm behind on my spooky stuff, but I do have books here to show you and I'm kind of on time this month, which, yay, that's pretty awesome. So I'm going to start where I tend to always start. And that is on my Kindle, and you can kind of <laughs> see. See, that's why I talked to the dog, and I can hear him barking in the background because he barks at everything. But so I got a few books on my Kindle this <laughs> month. I got um, The Mirror King by Jodie Meadows, so I'm going to binge that now with Orphan Queen and not have to wait between what I've heard is a crazy cliffhanger. <laughs> I got Pax by Sarah Pennypacker, um, Revenge in the Wild by Michelle <laughs> Bonesto. Shush. Seven Black Diamonds and Melissa Martin. I'm excited because I read Wicked Lovely like forever ago. And then last year I read Made For You, which is really, really good. And this is like her return to the Fey world. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, Everything But the Truth of Minnie Hubbard, which is kind of like a, uh, the You've Got Mail-ish, While You Were <coughs> Sleeping one, I think. Kind of like While You are Sleeping, and I love that movie. So I'm really excited about that. Um, Wendy Darling Stars by Colleen Oaks, which I have read. And it's a, they're retelling about Wendy, shush, about Wendy Darling, and um, I really, really, really liked it. I'm kind of obsessed with Peter Pan retellings, like, all the time now, and it's really interesting to see how differently it's painted each time, and this one has interesting romance going on, and just, you know, the ways of Neverland, and the ways of Peter Pan, and is he a good guy, is he a bad guy, you never really know, it depends on where you're reading, but I really, really liked it, so check that one out, it's out, I'm looking at my calendar, um, this month, October, so Wendy Darling, really good. Um, did I get How to uh, Fox Your Friends You Don't Have a Clue? I might have got that, I think, this month. I don't know. But um, it is the third book in the My Life is a Zoo series. And I really like that series. I'm not going to say much about it because I think I got this a different month. And then I got Black Hearts from Nicole Cashman, which I've been waiting forever for because like, I first heard about that book like over a year ago on Goodreads and then this, you know, got a cover synopsis and then thank you to Simon & Schuster for approving me for an e-arc on Idlewise and I just read this, um, this week, this past week and I devoured it. Um, it's not perfect or anything but it's about, um, Edward Teach who eventually becomes Blackbeard and it's like the origin story and I think it's a series but what this book does really, really well is that whole, like, anxious, like, how's this gonna end? Like, you keep going, you can't, I could not put the book down, and I love when books, you get so into it like that, so that was, I liked that one, so thank you, publishers, for all the books. Um, I also, uh, won <coughs> excuse me, from the novel, An Arc of Hello, Goodbye, and Everything in Between by Jennifer E. Smith, which I still need to read. I read The Statistical prob Probability of Love at First Sight, which I liked okay, and I really, really liked, this is what happy looks like, and I haven't read her last one yet, The Geography of You and Me, and then now it's Hello and Goodbye and all that stuff, so I'm going to get that read. And I don't know why I got British for a second. And then, um, the super, super kind Brianna Arshram, who's the author of Never Never, um, sent me an, um, arc of Never Never, um, an annotated arc. So thank you, Brianna. Um, just an FYI, I love this book. It's another Peter Pan retelling, but it's all about Captain Hook. And just, oh, Captain Hook. It's my favorite. Integrally, just stop now. So I'm gonna like go into feel over feels overload. I also um won from Amy Carter on Twitter. Um, Pawn and Captive, and then up next is Queen soon. I've read this one and I liked it. And I need to read Captive, but thank you, Amy. And then I got a couple books at Goodwill. Um, Alice in Zombieland by Gina Showalter which I've wanted to read for, like, ever. Everybody thinks it's really, really good. And there's that fourth book that just came out, so let me get that one read. Um, Fins Are Forever and, no, Forgive My Fins and Fins Are Forever by Tara Lynn Childs, which I think is, like, mermaid stuff. 
Mermaids are pretty cool, so I'm excited about that. And then um, The Scottish Prisoner by Dana Gabaldon, which I don't think is an actually an Outlander novel, but I think it's about Jamie Fraser, based on the um, synopsis. I, I don't want to read too much of it because I don't want to be spoiled for, the, spoiled for the series, but this fits great on my bookshelf because it's so thick. It's in, excuse me, puppy. I went to Half Price Books again and hit up the clearance section again. And I got Thirsty by M.T. Anderson because I cannot resist um, a vampire novel and it was only $2. Minion by um, L.A. Banks. This, um, in my Twilight days, so when I first read Twilight and I was like, okay, whatever I read, dog, get off the books. Whatever I read needs, to, I'm like, so it's vampires and I had seen this. Um, out at the library and I had read it and I liked it and eventually found out that the series is a very adult series but um, it's like vampire hunting and this really cool stuff but I finally have the first book in the series. I have almost all of them but some are the mass market paperbacks and I'm trying to make them all the regular paperbacks but um, and it sucks because L.A. Banks passed away from I think, cancer a few years ago so there's but I know she finished this series but I was happy I finally had the first one and need to reread it and get caught up on the series. I never finished it. Get caught up eventually, just and when it's like a twelve book series, so I have to like like schedule out an entire year for that one. Um Love Sick by Jake Coburn. Red Riding Hood by Blakely Cartwright and Johnson. I don't really know who it's by, but I've always wanted to read this. I actually really liked the film. I mean it's kinda cheesy, but I like the way it was shot and everything. Um, Halflings by Heather Birch, which I think has, like, werewolves, and I love werewolves, like, I don't know, Faye has to go up in there somewhere now, too, but, like, I think it's a sort of glass, but, like, vampires and werewolves are, like, they're my besties, I love them. Speaking of werewolves, Trial by Fire by, um, Jennifer Lynn Barnes, whose natural series I love, and I read Ways, Ra blah, 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 I read Raised by Wolves years ago, I never finished a series, but I want to, so now I have... Is this the third? This is the second one, I think. I think the third one then is taken by Storm or something. And then uh, Michael Crichton's um, The Lost World, the second Jurassic Park novel, I think. And I had to get it because I don't have any Jurassic Park novels in Dinosaurs. And speaking of Dinosaurs, Jurassic World's out in DVD in a couple weeks in Blu-ray. I am so excited. I'm the Raptors and all I'm greedy a badass. Just everything. And I'm so, I'm just excited to own it. I'm just excited. Okay, last but not least is um, my stack of like five pre-orders from October. Um, I went a little crazy, but Amazon was having those like crazy like ten dollar deals, and you can't say no to that. So I got um, "Walk on Earth: A Stranger" by Ray Carson, which is gorgeous. Like, let's look at like the simple back, like the matte kind of with the shiny. It's just it's so pretty. And was it? I don't have the publisher's embellishment, but just like. Look at that gold. And I loved, like, loved the Girl of Fire and Thorns um, trilogy, which I finally read earlier this year. Like, loved it. It's like, hey, New Ray Carson. Then after reading Vengeance Road and that Western, this is kind of Western and Gold Rush too. And I'm like, dude, this could be awesome. This could be a great new, like, genre category, whatever, for YA novels. So, look, I haven't read it yet. I'm going too soon. I'm looking forward to it because, like, Ray Carson became a favorite really, really fast. And then speaking of Vengeance Road... I pre-ordered Vengeance Road, and I had read an e-arc of it, but, like, look at that cover. Just, just look. Just look for a second. Is that just not, like, it's gorgeous. That is, like, cover art, and this book, I love how it's brown, too. Like, it's old, looking kind of like the brown. It's just the texture. It's so pretty. Um, and I did, I have read this one, and I loved it. It was really, really good. I didn't think I'd like it as much as I did, but the writing and everything worked, and just... This is drool with that cover all day because it's gorgeous. And then I, of course, also pre-ordered Never Never, so I got my finished copy. And then I had pre-ordered um, Hook's Revenge, The Pirate Code, which is the sequel to Hook's Revenge by um, Heidi Schultz, which, hey, more Peter Pan stuff. But this is about um, Captain Hook's daughter, Jocelyn Hook, who had gone to Neverland to seek revenge because the crocodile finally got her father. And this is a really, really fun middle grade series, and I don't care how old you are, you will love it. Like, Jocelyn's fantastic. The narrator, excuse me, is just, like, the voice, everybody is just 
the characters, everything works really, really well, and it's super fun, so definitely check out the series, starting with Cook Your Friends, and then this is the sequel. And then last but not least, oh, what else could I have possibly pre-ordered during a so September. What else could it be? I don't know, but the queen arrived. Look at that brick, okay? Like, it came, like, I had stuff I had to get down first, and, like, I read it, and just, like, I was like, I can't put this down. It was just, I could talk forever about it, so I'm just going to say quick, quick. I loved this book, and I hated this book. Um, my emotions caught a lot of it. I ended up just giving it, um, not no stars, but I just didn't rate it. Because it was either that or five stars, but it just didn't seem right. So I just, no rating. Because it was kind of bullshit, I think, a lot of it. And I let my emotions cloud it. But there are a hell of a lot of problems with this book. But I still loved it because it's the series. But just, the reason it's, you know, so thick because it's a soul crusher. But, my, my badass babies. And damn that book feels but yeah so that's that and yeah that's everything that I got during September so I will be back soon on YouTube I swear it because I said I read Black Hearts and Black Hearts is a book that I read really early and too early to review it on my blogs so I'll be doing the 90 second novel where I do like the quick 90 second review here on YouTube so I'll be back for that soon and I'll be back at the end of the month of course with my October book haul and I'll probably be in costume because it's October. You can't not wear costumes. So, yeah. Um, all the linkage and photo necessary for this will be down below. And I hope that you have a great October. And that, you know, hopefully not like me and swamped in a bunch of... Well, I didn't share from my book haul all these school books I had to buy to read. So, you know, if you're in school like me, bless us all. Have mercy on us. Um, yeah, stay safe this month. Stay, you know... Have fun for Halloween and do the haunted houses and everything I want to stay safe. Get scared, be spooky, and yeah, I will see you later. Bye.